Even the smallest things can have a big effect. This is especially true when you're working with a system that's finely balanced. Here's a thought experiment describing how even a little event can mess up everything. Imagine that in the future, scientists plan to send a rocket to Mars. They're extremely careful and factor in every single variable, no matter how small. They know so much more about space travel than they used to, but that also means there are more variables to consider than ever. For example, the scientists calculate how clouds in the atmosphere interact with the rocket during its launch. And they also account for even the slightest winds and gusts along the way. The engineers know even the angle of the sun keeps one side of the spacecraft warmer than the other, so they make adjustments for that. They think of everything. They spend months planning every little detail to make sure the ship travels perfectly to Mars. Finally, it's ready to go on its journey. When the capsule reaches Mars, the scientists are shocked. It lands about 100 meters off course from where it was supposed to. They can't figure out what went wrong with their careful calculations. However, after an inspection of the ship, they realize a mosquito had become smashed on the front of the vessel right as it launched from the Earth. As small as that seemed, the extra weight and disruption to the aerodynamics was just enough to throw the trajectory off after the long trip to Mars. Even a tiny bug can mess things up when you're making such a long journey. The momentum of the massive ship easily overpowers something as tiny as a mosquito. And yet, even a single one hitting the ship throws it off course. Imagine in the beginning that all the molecules and electromagnetic pulses in the universe were originally set into perfect trajectory. Everything followed the momentum and path set for it. But then something came along and disrupted its path. Atoms non-conforming molecules. At first, even the smallest bits of Adam were perfectly on course, until he decided to make a me first choice. Upon the willful execution of that decision, he altered the otherwise perfect trajectory of his body's molecules that we call U-bits. Those aberrant U-bits interact with external E-bits and alter the master plan for the universe. Just like that mosquito on the spaceship, his deviation was just a tiny event compared to providential momentum. But it still caused change in the intended destination and journey for all of creation. Your selfish me-first choices caused the new bits of your body to skew the original trajectory too. Your choices disrupt the harmony and peace intended. All of this doesn't surprise or frustrate God, because he actually knows about every mosquito in advance. While the spaceship landing 100 meters off target seems like a mistake to you, from God's perspective, that was the plan all along. So why does God allow your me first choices to disrupt things? Why not keep you on the original perfect trajectory? It's more profound than free will, and we'll explore it soon. Please click the thumbs up icon if you like this video. Also leave your comments and questions below. Until next time, remember humility, thanks, and joy.